welcome you to the State Farm Post Game Show here in Detroit, where the Vikings stay red hot. They win it by seven over the Lions, and they have now won seven straight. We send it down to Aaron Andrews. Aaron? All right, well, seven and two as a starter, you told us this week, runs like this now don't come too often, but you're enjoying it. Put it into words for us. You know, I, I don't know if I can. Um, that's your job to, to put stuff into words, but I mean, it's, it's how incredible. it means to what it means to you. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's it's incredible right now. Uh, I love my team. I love my squad. Um, I mean, it's it's just it's great to be a Viking right now, and uh, you know, we're gonna keep this going. I think uh, we're having a lot of fun. Um, just trust in the process, and, uh, and 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 we'll see. Uh, you know, take it one week at a time. Now, Case had said to me coming over, "Don't we get a turkey leg?" Uh, uh, uh. Even better, oh. we are presenting you, my friend, with the game ball. Game ball. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Look at this. This is incredible, man. Um, yeah, this will look this will look really nice on the uh, dinner next table. Next to what? It will be on the dinner table there next to the turkey. Uh, my, wife, uh, my wife's at home cooking right now, so I'm excited. This will look really good. This is perfect, right? Yeah. Bringing it on over. How about that? This is really cool. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. I think he actually can hear you guys upstairs if they want to say something. Case, can you hear us? I got you now. Yeah. Hey, we only have one question. Okay. How long does it take you guys to choreograph these touchdown <laughs> celebrations? <laughs> the you heck know, was that? <laughs> not as long as you think. Uh, it's it's kind of in between uh, in between plays. Uh, you know, right there during a the timeout, we just talk about it, and you know, we wind up scoring, so it's nice. All hey, right. Case Troy been here. Congratulations, pal. Heck of a game. Thanks, Troy. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, it was fun to watch, and uh, you know, I. I know you want to walk back that comment you made when you said, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, but it ain't broke, and they're not fixing anything. You're fixing this offense, and, uh, man, seven in a row has to feel good. Congratulations. It, it feels really good, uh, Troy. I, I, you know, I can't lie. This is this is a great team win. Um, you got to give it to Troy, man. They're, they're fighters. Matt Stafford's a fighter. Um, you know, but uh, it's a, it's a great day to be a Viking, and uh, I'm excited. I'm very thankful uh, for this for my teammates. Uh, it's, it's 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 a lot of fun. Just uh, just keep it going. Yeah, it's been fun to watch. Congrats. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All right, that's Case Keenum. Man, has he been fantastic for the Minnesota Vikings? This guy is seven and two, and the Vikings have won seven straight. Now he's got our first ever game. Game ball, a trophy. We continue with the State Farm Post Game Show and the guys on the other side of the break. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome back to the State Farm Post Game Show. All right, so Case Keenum and the Vikings win their seven straight to go to nine and two. So welcome to the State Farm Post Game Show. You take a look at this. Vikings now... Tied with Philadelphia for the most wins. Obviously, they played one more game than the Eagles have. But, Terry, this case, Keenum, it's like you try and take it away, you take it away, Howie and the guy just keeps on going. How we had a good line last week, case closed. And it is closed. I don't think there's an issue with Case Keenum whatsoever. Teddy Bridgewater, sit back at well, more what, more well. Anyway, Keenum today, <laughs> pressure on him. He responds, he responds, he responds. And I don't see why it has to be an issue now. Step up, feel the pressure, step up outside, inside. Still looking downfield. This all starts with a free read. He knew it was zone. Here he gets pressure again, sees him drop off. He gets the first down rushing. Here is the blitz, and his presence of mind ducks, avoids the safety blitz, only to come with his eyes up and ball down the field, um, not unlike our guy in Philadelphia wins. He has a command of the offense. Pat Shermer, the offensive coordinator, is using him well. His arm is strong. He can throw a deep short, and he's smart. I can see that he's a smart player, and I just think the case is closed. He's, he is their quarterback. Yeah, Terry, you know, some may question Jim Caldwell's decision to go for it fourth down and eight on his 27-yard line. He's got three minutes to go in the ball game. still got a timeout, plus he's going to have the stoppage on the two-minute warning. You know, he goes for it. The ball is intercepted. Had he punted, you know, he would have gotten the ball back if they'd have stopped him. He'd have got the ball back with at least a minute 15 left in the ball game and in good field position. It's understandable, though. You know, Stafford has pulled out so many games at the end. He has been so hot. But in this situation, he was injured, and he hasn't been as sharp in this ball game. Hey, real quick, you said that you can't imagine why this is still an issue with Case Keenum. Do you think it is? You think it's over? 
I mean, do you yeah. think anybody is really going to discuss it going forward now, or everybody going to be on the bandwagon that Keenum's the guy for the rest? You got to you got to overlook the fact <laughs> that he was with the Rams, he was with the Houston Texans. You got to look that he's a backup. That Bradford was a starter. He gets hurt. Gotta Bridgewater forget, would have been the gotta starter. For, you got to forget all that. Right. Exactly. If you're, if you're the Vikings, you got to forget all that and trust your eyes and wow. stop. And, and I think there is a point, Kurt. Where you, where this guy has to know, hey, this is your football right. team. Uh, well, Stop! I, don't worry about. I don't think he's looking over his shoulder no, because no. his play uh, indicates to me that he well, totally think, pressure free. I think, Kurt, the answer to your question is we'll be talking about it our next show. <laughs> <laughs> and that show is Sunday. But before we get to Sunday, we got to finish out today here. And you saw Aaron Andrews speak with Keenum just a few moments ago. She also had a chance to speak with Everson Griffin on the field there in Detroit. Well, not a bad little Thanksgiving for you. Your wife has her third child, your son, of course, and uh, then you pull off this win here, and you guys have won seven straight. You know, we're nine and two. We face a lot of adversity. Um, it feels good. Nine and two. Never been nine and two in my career. Had my baby boy today. Seven pounds, two ounces. We don't know his name, but I had a shirt. You know, and two sacks. So maybe no ideas yet during no this ideas game. Yeah, but you know, God is good, and I just. We're nine and two. That's all that matters right now. Go celebrate with that new family, baby. Of course. Hey, baby, love you. <laughs> Best start for the Vikings since uh, that's nice. 2009. I think nobody's happier than that guy Three right sons. there. God bless his wife. I, I know you that. You know what that's like, exactly. Deal. You I and Diane deal. both. All right, Griffin went back inside the locker room. We'll get a chance to see how he and his teammates celebrated. Getting a victory here on Thanksgiving as we continue with the State Farm Post Game. Come on back here. And you can catch it this Sunday right here on Fox. Right now on Fox, you can catch what it's like to be inside that winning Vikings locker room. We just had the three-game sprint. We finished three and all, okay? Now we go a five five game championship drive mm -hmm. okay? Amen. Okay? Amen. and we come back we regroup we come back for a five game championship drive right and we're not just playing to get in a thing right we're not playing to get in the tournament we're playing to win at home so Mike Zimmer giving us a preview of the schedule, which, you know, doesn't really slow down at Atlanta, at Carolina up next. But Howie, they took care of what they needed to do today. Yeah, and, and the drive at the end of the half, for me, the key to the game was the opening drive in the second half. The drive at the end of the half by Stafford for the touchdown was a reminder to the Vikings just how dangerous he is at the end of half, end of game. And for them to come out for a four-play, 75-yard drive to open the second half was huge. And as you mentioned, Case Keenum, you know, the instincts, the run game with Murray. Murray, to me, has been a missing piece over the last couple of weeks. He's given them another dimension in the run game, their revamped offensive line. And what can you say about Thielen? Thielen, it's a, we're sitting here, we're going, Mike, this guy's in the right place all the time. Yeah, he's on the right place at the right time all the time, How And that's just, you know, this this team, the impressive thing watching today, you're on the road. You're, you're going against a division opponent. You know you almost a must win for you in order to kind of put this division away. Even though they do have a tough schedule going forward the next two games, but not turning over the ball. And they're leaning on the philosophy of running the ball. They ran the ball 41 times. They only 41. threw it 30 times. Yep. That's a lot of run plays oh, at the boy. defensive lineman. You're out there thinking, offense, help us out. Get a first down. They're almost 50% on first downs. They've held the ball almost 35 minutes of a game. This is an offense that knows how to keep the defense off the field, keep the defense fresh. And that's why the defense plays the way that they can, because they know, hey, we can go out here and let it all go. We don't have to save anything. We have an offense who has our back. And I think that's the point. Mike Zimmer was making with a couple of weeks ago, getting off reservation with a couple of the throws. Mm -hmm. You know, dial it back, play within our system. This is complimentary football. Our defense is great. Let's play well. Now they've got to get their field goal and PAT yeah, can, 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 cleaned up yeah. a little bit. Uh, that That's in, in tight games, in the playoffs, a missed PAT, a missed right. field goal, it, it comes back to haunt you. But they are playing the kind of football that Mike Zimmer likes. So they're running it. You talked about how many times. And this defense is as tough as anybody 
in the league right no now. No turnovers today. No turnovers no. again yes. today. All right, that wraps up Thanksgiving. But this Sunday, make sure you grab some leftover turkey and enjoy some birds of a different kind as the Eagles, Falcons, and Seahawks all headline a slate of big games here on Fox. But only after America's favorite pregame shows. Fox NFL kickoff will get things started. Talking with members of the Carolina Panthers' top-ranked defense in the NFC, led by Luke Keekley, as Carolina looks to stay in the hunt for the South title. After that, we will take over here on Fox NFL Sunday to preview all the crucial contests with playoff implications. And that includes the Bucks against the resurgent Falcons, fresh off their thrilling Monday night win. Our very own Shannon Spake sits down with Matt Ryan to see if the Falcons think they can keep soaring all the way back to the Super Bowl. It's a terrific menu of games to finish this Thanksgiving week, and it's all coming up Sunday right here on Fox. Yeah, I'm anxious to see the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, they got the best record in football. You know, you're you want to just see, can you keep it rolling? You know, are you going to have a, a couple of hiccups along the way? Playing the, the Bears, the Bears play great defense and, and run the football. So beat it'll up be interesting. Though. Beat up, though. They're, they're beat up, particularly on defense. Well, you're talking about Kyle. Or, 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 no. Or, they're beat up. They're beat up. Kyle's on offense. He's not like the beat up. Your two boys play against one another, your teams, this yeah. week. Yeah. How is that for you to watch? No, there's a lot to be thankful for. Next Sunday's not, not one of the <laughs> <laughs> I think Atlanta and Buccaneers. I'm looking forward to seeing if Atlanta, you know, is, is going to like yeah. get hot like they got hot last year. If they still have it in the tank for themselves. Yeah, I'm not worried about Philadelphia crashing and burning. You don't think I, they'll have a hiccup? No, no, no not good. now. Too late. So. They're playing Happy, the most Happy complete Thanksgiving football Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. of anybody in the league. We will see you on Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Thank you for spending this Thanksgiving with us. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you on Sunday. It's Chevy's most dependable plays of the day. The Thanksgiving feast of football has begun. The Lions and the Vikings treated us to an exciting main course featuring a little bit of turkey, plenty of stuffing, and some amazing plays we can all be grateful for. Brought to you by Chevrolet, the most dependable plays of the day.